outside. Ishiro tries to block him. Nick Cassidy on the outside. Ishiro will hit. All right, quiet now. Okayama, you know it as that city in Japan with a 3.7 kilometer X Formula One circuit. I know it as the car company. Okayama. Despite being a Japanese company, their first car was actually US exclusive. Oh no, not the skeletons again. <laughs> anyway, if you ignore the fact it was sold in Japan, it is USD it is US exclusive. Other than that, it is it is not. As such, it was a Ute of course. It has a steel body panels, a light truck monocoque made out of steel, front transverse engine, front mix McPherson strut suspension and rear torsion beam for extra bed space. It has a 2 liter inline 4 dual overhead cam with an aluminium head, cast internals, 9.6 to 1 compression ratio, maxes out at 5000 RPM, produces peak power of 68 kilowatts of torque, of torque, of power, single throttle body, multi-point EFI fuel injection, standard low manifold, quite a large amount of octane margin, I'm sure you could go to 10, but shh, no one will know, runs very lean, very economical, for the time at least. Three-way catalytic converter. Look at just it's beautiful. Look at it. Look at its majesty. It, that's a lie. I've, I, I've lied to you. Let's see this bad boy. No, I didn't start making this before, and then like, hmm, damn, this is a good idea, I should make a video of it. Nah, never know, you'd never know. <laughs> there, so it's a four-speed manual with a viscous LSD as it is front-wheel drive. Which, you know, more bed space, less tunnel size. Three. Radial tires, being it's the 80s. Utility, 165 width, front and rear, 14 inch rims, steelies of course, front vented disc, rear drum, with a semi-clad under trays for that, some extra fuel economy, two front seats with a standard cassette player on the front. Now it's manual steering, but circulating ball meaning it will be easier to drive. With some progressive springs for added comfort, gas monotube dampers, and a passive sway bar, because I can't have anything else. Yeah. On to the design.
Don't you hate it when your steering wheel is just white? <laughs> anyway, welcome to the car in Demon G Drive. It is complete with interior. Anyone know, anyone know the law of uh, Hirachi Raceway? Like, was this even a thing in 1982? Who knows? Let's take it for a test drive. Now, of course, this thing is front wheel drive, so it's going to be a bit understeery. But, should handle the corners well. Immediately understeers into oblivion. Brilliant. When flooring it, gets 15 mpg. That is better than some 70s muscle cars. You know, from America. Big lock up there. This thing still sp spins its wheel in second gear. Of course, only spinning one wheel because it is front wheel drive, and it's common knowledge that they like to do a one wheel appeal. Oh dear. I am driving this thing as if it has performance. It's a ute, of course it doesn't. Why would it have performance? Alright, so according to automation, this thing should get, um, at least with economic driving, it should get 40 mpg, which is quite good. I'll throw a conversion to liters per hundred on screen for anyone using a you know the better measurement uh, yeah, in some cases it's better but mpg is good just for you know how much do you need to fill up um, in order to go one mile How many? Brain, brain work good, yes. Did, wait, did my steelies turn out? Why are they green? That is odd. Oh yeah, so it's got a sunroof because that is just what these cars do. It helps if you can see the corner. As for the interior. We have working indicators. Uh, we got a working handbrake light. Working hazards, but I don't know how to turn those on. Uh, all the other lights work, sort of. And you know, it's a U. We can just cut across this, perfectly fine. Flashbacks to Formula V right there. Oh no, hang on, you're pulling me. I can just hear Groundhog right behind me. Oh, I know, it's right. No, it, yeah, no, it was out of the corner. Let's see what it can do on a quarter mile. So, I am expecting a sub 15, hopefully. That's pretty a bit ambitious, though. Let's see, 100 kilometers an hour. Oh, I was right, sub 15. Actually, no, just no, I was wrong. Big oof, big incorrect. A 15.6. But, that's just the USDM. We have. JDM version. <laughs> so I'll tell you more about the JDM version after we see its drag time, which is probably going to be literally the exact same, because this thing will only be slightly lighter, and also I messed up that shift, so it's actually going to be slower now. Yep, 
two tenths slower due to a messed up shift. But on the inside, as you can see, it is now right hand drive. You know, correct hand drive. It also has some other changes, such as. Da -da 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 -da, rim covers. As well as. Because the Japanese plate is larger than the. than the. Montana plate I think they used. This had to be moved up to accommodate for that. There is no changes to the rear, and on the inside, as you can see, sunroof's gone. Because I think sunroofs aren't as uh, desirable in Japan, I'm not sure. Uh, as you can see, look, wait a second, I removed the- I removed the tow bar and da. Ah. There is a change to the rear. I removed the tow bar. <laughs> Speaking of tow bar, let's see how good this thing is at towing. What I can't do is go into this time trial, because that will get rid of the caravan. What I can do is start hot lapping with the caravan. <laughs> let's do it. Wheels go scree. One change I did remember between the USDM and the JDM is that the chrome mirrors are body color on the on the JDM. Oh dear. <laughs> as you can see, I'm not as proficient as at uh, <laughs> caravan racing as say Jeremy Clarkson and James May and Richard Hammond are. So this thing would have been sold from 1982 till 1990 where there would be a revision not a revision, a new version made Oh, oh, goodness. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Stalled. <laughs> that would be a revision. <laughs> and... Not, not a revision. Again, not a revision. A new version. A new model. More updated for the 90s. Oh, bug it. <laughs> and in this new... <laughs> In this new version, it would be probably 2.2 liter inline four for the USDM, but a 1.8 liter in the JDM. As well as the JDM would have ABS, unlike the eight USDM, and. As well as the USDM will come in a quad cap. Quad cap. Is it is it dual cap or is it quad cap? I don't know. Crew cap, whatever, whatever you want to call it. It will come in that. So if you want it, it's fish. It's fish tang. I don't. I honestly don't know how to fix that. I. Oh yeah. If you want to see that, let me know down below. Or I could set up a poll in my newly found community tab. Done it again. <laughs> Ow. If you have any video suggestions, if you could be so kind as to leave them in the 
comments, that'd be great. But I don't want to make content unless it's what you guys want to see. So, I can't make what you want to see unless you tell me. So, do so down below. How do people be entertaining? This is a struggle and a half. <laughs> don't fishtail, don't fishtail, don't fishtail. Yeah, yeah, solved the fishtail. I didn't know that was possible. At least for someone of my skill level. Honestly, just I honestly forgot like as soon as I flipped the first time that this was meant to be a hot lap. So, uh, hot lap time go. Hopefully, we can do better than a. That was not a one minute. What? <laughs> not very good under breaking. What can I, what, I, I don't know what to say about this other than it feels like it has power steering from a rack and pinion steering set, but uh, uh, oh, oh crap, no, not again, but it's, it's just regular recirculating ball, which I, I honestly have no idea what recirculating ball actually is, so I'll look that up and I'll, I'll put a link to what it is, like the Wikipedia page or something in the description. So you can also find out, stop doing that, don't spin, don't, okay, spinning was fine, flipping was not. Surprisingly, uh, no beams broken or deformed. Surprisingly controllable. I was not expecting this to do so well. Oh goodness. Except for when it does that. Oh, instead of solving it, I've just exacerbated the issue. <laughs> ah! Like, do I want to turn into where the trailer's going, or do I want to. Yes, okay, I want to turn into where the trailer is going. So if if the trailer is the front of the trailer is starting to point to the left, I point my front wheels to the right. And vice versa. That's how I solve a fishtail. Got it. why I need people to talk to, because otherwise I'm just, it just feels weird, like I'm just talking to myself and then, man, <laughs> how am I taking so long on these laps? I mean, otherwise I'm just talking to myself and I'm, I'm just not speaking at all, and it's just awfully boring. Like, things need to happen. Saved it. Saved it, jackknifed. <laughs> but I saved it. But yeah, as I was saying, just nothing happens. Like, I don't know what to do. I should probably maybe script things more or something. 
like the intro, that's scripted. It's also done in post, so I haven't done the intro yet, so I better have done the intro. Ah, 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 ah. It's fine. It's fine. The car's fine. Okay, why is the car not fine? Okay, there we go. <laughs> do we have steering damage? No, we do not. And across the line in... Oh, for goodness sake. I accidentally pressed my reset button instead of the... Uh, excuse me? I accidentally pressed my reset... Why did it not count? Why did it not count lap? What? That, what? I... Huh? What? It's not ca It's just resetting the timer. What the hell? That is bizarre. Let's get this lined up with its JDM counterpart and I can show you the exact differences. I completely forgot to mention the name of this car. This is the the Okayama Lycola. Why the Lycola? Because that's what I thought of. Like the literally meaningless name. As for differences between this, the USDM, and this, the JDM, we have rim covers, the lack of rim covers, mirrors being different colored, the side you drive on, although that is a legal requirement, the handbrake, if we look over in the USDM, is on the other side. The USDM comes with a tow bar. The USDM does not. This section here being raised to accommodate the larger license plate, whereas here the Michigan license plate is smaller. What other differences are there? I don't know, this one's better because it can be sold in Australia? Eh, here we are in the car jump arena. Something I've just remembered, even though I, liter I literally made these like 20 minutes ago and completely forgot all the differences. The JDM version has a more city oriented suspension setup, whereas the USDM is more utility inclined. So, still the same suspension, as you can see, it is. Uh, the, the torsion beam in the rear and McPherson up front, same with the USDM, but McPherson and torsion bar. I, I honestly don't know why black is exploding the screen. But yes. So, we shall jump these off and then we must depart. And now it's time to depart. Or something, I don't know. Sing. Oh. Okay, they're singing. Uh, this thing's going to top out before it even hits the bottom. <laughs> hmm. This is not an expected possibility. 200 combos an hour. Oh dear. Uh, that's gonna be... That's just like... That was like 2.30. Sand! No! Ah! Pain! Ow! See, this is why you put your drivers on the right, otherwise that will happen. Anyway, let's see how well the JDM fares. I'm gonna guess it's gonna go around the same distance. But now... I'll leave it to editing me to say some words. Damn it, me. 
Anyway, I apologize for this video taking so long to come out. I, I have no excuses to be perfectly honest. I don't know how you made it this far into the video, but thank you so much for doing so. If you managed to enjoy that and want to see more, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more content coming out once a week. Assuming that I get off my lazy ass and edit, or rather, on my lazy ass, but whatever. If you have any suggestions of what I could do better, please tell me in the comments. Have a good one, and ta -ra.